Welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the Legacy DLC and we're almost about to finish the Lazarus project. I was so excited that I couldn't even finish the last video correctly. So we are having a seven-man squad and this here is going to be our uh, blind playthrough run of the Lazarus project. Uh, Tygen, you could use your action to open the door for the others. Thank you. We're not going to do anything anyways. My life is in your hands. So we need to extract in only 12 turns and boy, that's a long way. Need to go through the train station and this here looks like a very very long room. Okay. I am on the move. Let's do it. Their Petraeus coming beyond vision. We have no easy oh well we have easy spider spider climbing over here. Central Bradford moves out. And uh, this here should get him into the next room. Great. Alright, wow, that's going to be a long, long run. We are very aggressively pushing towards using all of our uh, resources and equipment just to quicken and make sure that within the 12 rounds we're going to reach the target. Position confirmed. Moving on. I'll lead the way. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Let's get our sniper into position. Deploying grapple. Beautiful. We even have a face off sniper. That's so good. Finally, something useful. The team gets stronger towards the end of the run. Started out as a bunch of rebels and then got stronger and stronger. Yeah, just stay there, guys. No need to move, really. Well, told you not to move. had Tygen working out of a lab space down in the tunnels under one of the city centers. Aside from the fact that he was collaborating with the enemy, I can see why he would want to get out of his current situation. Aside from his equipment, the place was kind of a dungeon. Heading out. That's a beautiful hit. Maybe a bit overdone, even. That's likewise the beautiful, just a little bit less damage. I think we should save our heavy war um, equipment for later option. We can start this one with a claymore. There we go, claymore plus the explosion.
This should kill one and injure the other one quite substantially. So, as I was saying, oh, that's beautiful as well. Nice little crit there. Got a piece of the armor. Hair trigger free action. I think we don't even need to use our uh, cooldowns to be honest. dealing so much damage well and we do have seven uh, troopers I'm going to keep the lightning hands to be honest. Affirmative, covering now. Oak says I am to obey. No place for you to go now. Moving over here should at least give us one shot. It doesn't, somehow the cover is bugged. And remember that was only round number two. There's the sector pod. This guy seems to be completely clueless and just runs around. Having lost all contact with Dr. Ballin after the invasion, our growing resistance movement was in desperate need of anyone with medical expertise. Had our original chief scientist still been with us, I'm not sure we would have taken such a great Moving her over. A former collaborator. At least in those days. Moving into full cover. And I think since the sector port is pr probably one of the stronger foes in this campaign, uh, in this mission as well here. We're taking this triple hit plus cover removal. So 
So we're looking at one, two, three, four. Okay, that's good. Starting with the sector pot. We do have AP rounds, so we're going to ignore all of his armor. Wait a second, Lily Peng can shoot at the sector port as well. And that's going to deal a lot of damage. I want to uh, utilize the blue stream rounds. Well, executed. I guess can't complain about that. Again, bypassing most of uh, all of the armor. And now it's face off time. Beautiful. Beautiful. going to reveal us and it kills the most threatening foe left on the battlefield no no definitely not we're not going to go into melee against a purifier Placeable. Yeah, I don't know if we are even going to use it. Moving over here. And let's kill the priest. Sustenance? Yeah, I figured. But oh, that's cool, that's cool, don't worry. Because we got it with an Overwatch. Did he just ace it burn himself? Yeah, it's not your day today, buddy. Focus by yet one more point. Before we move further in, let's scout. I will reposition. I think two large packs have been killed already. Which kind of leads to the question how many more are going to be there? Definitely move up to here. You got it, Commander. Lily can move over there and Overwatch. Roger that. Good to go.
So let me think. I'm actually okay with Central standing in the open because I don't think that there are any enemies uh, going to join us like right now. It's more a movement around where we need to make sure that that everyone is reloaded and moved up to the right point. And I think that's the last pack here. Already saw that it's a Gatekeeper uh, plus Viper Codex. Tigan knew it wouldn't take Advent all that long to notice he was no longer tied into their network, but that didn't stop him from pulling the plug anyway. I don't want to make any presumptions about his mindset, but it was clear he had had enough of whatever he was doing down in that lab of his. Yeah, two packs right there. Start bringing everyone into a solid position. Yeah, that would unfortunately pull enemies. It's too far, uh, too far ahead. This here likes, looks like an okay spot. Same over here. Location confirmed. Moving out. Central can move over here. And easy just needs to be ready when he's going uh, when he's going to charge in. I'm not 100% sure but it might be that we're going to fight against two packs soon. One of them certainly moving away as far as they can. Oh, gotcha. There's yet another one over here. Okay. Okay. You have to remember when all this went down, all we knew about these advent implants was that they were starting to pop up in most of the city centers. Tigan was likely among the first humans ever implanted with one, and he was definitely the first person to ever try pulling one out. Let me check something. We're not in a hurry. If I move to here, trusting you, we'll always find you. we would be able to actually see the gatekeeper, right? Shit. Okay. Which means oh, it's not an option to move there. We're a bit on a timer here. Think I found an advent position. I got the bolt to copy. 
Well, beautiful. Beautiful. Trying to prevent that from happening, but it seems that most of uh, the the scenario here is built around the fact that it will happen sooner or later. I'm on it. So let's embrace it and have a really, really nice fight. There is nowhere to hide. Might as well. Okay, let's hope. Wait a second. Yeah, I think we wouldn't be able to see it. to see anyone here, right? Right? Yeah. This is killing the Viper. We could throw it just a bit further. It would also kill one of the core ACs. I think that's a beautiful capacitator discharge. These guys are in a tough spot, but we need to deal with the um, with the gatekeeper first. Which still has a substantial amount of armor. So this here could be some damage, but we need to really crack the armor first. And the only way that I can see that this is going to work is with a plasma grenade. Yeah, we're far enough away to not Lost up too much. Come on. Redford. Don't be that guy, please. Alright, Redford for once decided to be not that guy. And here we go. Nice little crit, come on. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I think we need to focus on getting the gatekeeper down. Yeah. 
This here could be a kill, but it's there is still a chance that we're actually not hitting it. Very good. Huge relief. Because we're just going to take some shots. And that's pretty much it. One of them is disoriented, can't even use the mark ability. Okay, fair enough. We we got hit. Psionic bomb. Who would have guessed? her guard up around him despite all the work they've done together at this point i'd say give the guy a break but maybe i'm just getting soft with old age so someone's got a trigger the overwatch So I could hit all three of you. There we go. Get ready for a surprise. That's taking care about the last Overwatch, and all of them are without cover now. Moving in. And this here is beautifully going to demonstrate why Lightning Hands is such a strong ability. Uh, and face off. Well, that's even one kill. Just wanted to soften the sky up. Time for some face off. I can get some to the other side. So, as I was about to say, we've pretty much reached the end of the line. There's only one more pack left, and that's about it.
Oh, we could even grapple up to here. Well, that's strange. We got enough uh, rounds left. Getting everyone in position. Everyone's reloaded. I am watching. Come get some. On Overwatch. I'm on it. Come get some. I'm on. Big foot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're not going to move. Of course not. I will go. This world is ours. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, reverse grapple, when we needed to get into the other direction. Well played, sir, well played. Luckily for us, the last three enemies are just a joke. Bridge here seems to be a bit buggy. It's difficult to maneuver on it. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. GG. Got a lot of points uh, this run. We already got 40,000. So, that marks the end of uh, the second last mission here. All set. I shoot whatever moves, right? Interesting seven man squad. I think they build in this last little crooks here in order to challenge you with the seven man squad. I'm on it. At this point, you need more than three packs in order to really challenge uh, in such a strong squad. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. I'm going. Packing it in. I'm out of here. Very nice. So we uh, we got uh, fifty-five thousand points out of it. Super strong. We only need fifteen thousand to uh, to finish with a gold medal now. So we could either get the disruptor rifle for only Lily uh, Lily Chen, or we get two rangers with the Arashi. Um, yeah, I think we're taking the Arashi. Thanks, double ranger Arashi. Yeah. And both of them, no, she takes rapid fire. <laughs> rapid fire plus a rush is just an emulation. 
Yeah, we're almost there, guys. Last mission. Once he finally recovered from the operation, our new friend Dr. Tigan was grateful. To the extent that Tigan expresses that sort of thing anyway. He was also eager to prove his loyalty, to shake off whatever bad deeds he had done in the service of Advent. He told us about a powerful artifact. A remnant of the old XCOM base the aliens had found and sealed away deep in some stronghold for further study. He was vague about the whole thing, which didn't help alleviate any suspicions we might have had about his story. Still, it was worth a shot. Squad concealment active. Oh, guess who's in that Whatever top? We were after, the alien buried it deep in a stronghold unlike anything we'd ever run into. The only way in was through an old ventilation shaft, dropping down through the ceiling. Even the aliens had to breathe sometime, I guess. Great. And we got the seven-man squad again. Wow, that, that's really strong. All right. Uh, we're going to do that just in the next mission. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen, leave a comment down below. And yeah, don't forget to like it. See you on the next mission. Bye-bye.